prophecies in Warrior Cats always come true. Blood spills blood and Hawk Frost dies. The old force is dug up enough that the clans have to leave, and Tiger Kid evolves to become a villain who takes control of the forest. But even though the Silver Cat was not the one the tribe was expecting, the prophecy was fulfilled anyways. The idea of having your fate planned out for you is called predestination. It may sound pretty grim that no matter what your choices are, there is a set outcome. All of your choices have already been planned out in the end, and so fate is fate, and you have no choice. But what if we had multiple timelines, multiple fates? Could the prophecies be proven wrong, or will something sooner or later go wrong? Broken Kit was a prophecy in cat form similar to Tiger Kit, supposedly destined to eat full the moment he opened his eyes. But was he really born that way, or did the cats around him influence him? Nature or nurture, could the prophecy possibly be incorrect in a separate timeline? Before we get started, I'm going to ask you to subscribe. I put a lot of time and effort into my work, and subscribing would encourage me to do more. I'd also like to thank the current subscribers for your work. As a small artist, every one of you means a lot for me. So, without further ado, let's start at the very beginning of Broken Star's life with his mother. Yell Thing is a cat who works very hard to become a healer, even though her maid disapproved and she had to leave him in order to take out the position. However, by the time she became a healer, she was already pregnant with a Kitsuda deputy, Ragged Pelt. After working so hard to become a healer, of course she wouldn't want to risk that position by having Broken Kit be known publicly as hers. Obviously, Broken Star's nature is very important as both parents are vital infrastructure to the clan. So it's important to analyze them and see what traits they could have passed down to Broken Star. Ragged Pelt is a very violent individual prone to outbursts, such as when he killed his father, a foreshadowing of what's to come in Broken Star's life. Third, furthermore, he is definitely an abuser. And that isn't just me speculating, the Aarons themselves have acknowledged that Yellow Ragged is abusive and it may have played a role in Yellow Fang allowing the similarly toxic Aspirin to Star Clan, as she was used to that type of toxic love. The most clear example of this has to be when Yellowfang decides to become a healer. This would cause Ragged Pelt to lose control over her, as healers cannot take mates. So Ragged Pelt constantly belittles her for her choices, insinuating that healers are useless. Even after she becomes a full healer, Ragged Pelt keeps on urging her to go back to being a warrior so they can be together. This is because her being a healer means that he has lost control over her. That's enough about his estranged parents. Let's get on to talking about Broken Kid. Throughout most of his childhood, Litter Stripe reluctantly took the role of his mother as Yellow Fang was a healer. At first, she was strongly opposed to it, however, after considering the benefits of keeping the deputy's kits, she changed her mind. Among her kits, Leopard Stripe fostered a Lizard Stripe fostered an air of hatred of Broken Kit, the kit she never wanted to take in. She encouraged them to call Broken Kit a kitty pet, as that was a common theory as to who his mother was. One day, Yellowfang catches the kits teasing Broken Kit and threatens to call Lizard Stripe on them. However, Broken Kit says that Lizard Stripe will only blame him for it. This, to me, is a clear as day example of gaslighting. Yelfing, of course, feels sympathy for her poor son and offers him a position in helping her in the herb stocks. However, this blows up in her face as he says that, sh that this is useless for a warrior. Even though in this far in story he hasn't talked much with his father, it's clear he has at least adopted Ragged Star's hatred of medicine cats. Later, this will come into play after he kicks one of the only fully trained medicine cats after out of his clan um, during his reign. Broken Kit, of course, soon leaves the nursery. However, the damage to him has been done. In order to prove himself, Broken Paw adapts in an ambitious personality and in an antagonistic mood. A cat who briefly tries to be a motherly figure is Foxheart. Unlike Lizard Stripe, she wants Broken Kit, but for all the wrong reasons. Her claiming to be the mother of Broken Kit makes her closer to the deputy slash leader, Ragged Pelt. If cats think that Foxheart is Broken Kit's mother, perhaps they would expect her to be chosen as deputy. And the only parent that Broken Star had true contact in in the end without distortion of their blood relationship was his father, Ragged Star. This relationship is not fully pronounced as he is younger. However, as he gets older, he gets into more contact with his father. Ragged Pelt starts training Broken Kit when he's a kit, foreshadowing the policies he will later enact on the clan. However, he does not become Broken Kit's mentor. Surprisingly, Night Pelt does instead, as CSR hoped that he will curb the apprentice's bloodthirsty nature. 
This was a bad choice, as Broken Paw works by animal rules, meaning the strongest survive, and due to his asthma, Nightpelt wasn't the strongest, so Broken Paw just didn't take orders from him, and Nightpelt practically gave up trying to control his apprentice. Not that I blame him. In one last effort to stop Broken Paw, Nightpelt fails his assessment, but Ragged Pelt, now Ragged Star, gives Broken Paw his warrior name anyways. This is once again teaching him to defy authority and that the weakest cats in the clan do not matter. Not much later, Broken Tail is given an apprentice called Stumpy Paw. He trains him very harshly, such as making him hang from tree branches for talking during training, and it is very likely that other things happen off page. Broken Tail soon crowned the deputy after the previous one, Cloud Pelt, dies. Surprisingly, Broken Tail did not murder him. He begins to fiercely train the clan whilst neglecting the other duties such as hunting, showing how narrow-minded and power-hungry he is. Without hunting, the most weak cats in the clan start to starve, such as the queens, kits, and elders. However, you have to remember, Broken Star works by the survival of the fittest rules. Both the leader and healer soon receive a vision of dying kits, and Ragatsar says he regrets making Broken Tail his deputy. Sorry, Ragatsar, but I don't feel too much sympathy. You had a million red flags, and Nightpal even told you he wasn't ready yet. Yellowfang told you he wasn't ready too, but you neglected her approach. Thankfully, Yellowfang makes all this clear and says, Ragged Star, stop blaming me. He's your son, and you were the one who raised him. This problem ultimately bubbles to the surface as Broken Tail kills Ragastar just like how Ragastar killed his own father. How? This is generations of violence coming to a dramatic head, history repeating itself. However, Broken Star is not nearly as a passive leader as Ragastar is. We all know what happens after that, so I won't focus on it. I'm just focusing on analyzing the past leading up to Broken Star's reign. The resentment and distrust he got from his fake mothers may have created his violent and antagonistic personality. However, Ragnar only served to enable it, and Nightpal was able to do very little to prevent it. Same as Yellowfang. While the circumstances of his birth certainly influenced Broken Star, the majority of his cruelty came from other influences such as Litter Stripe's abusive bullying that could have not arisen if he knew his true heritage, and even if he had been able to have both parents. The reality of having a code-breaking kit may have started his behavior rather than Litter Stripe's bullying. He would also have Ragapel alongside him, endorsing his actions and egging him on to even more aggressive behaviors and not realizing the warnings until it's too late. Either way, I feel like Broken Star would have ended up as one of the most infamous cats in the clans. Maybe if he knew his parents, then it wouldn't have been so drastic, but either way, he would have ended up as a pretty bad leader. In this case, the stars are right. Broken Star was destined to be evil since the moment Yellowfang fell in love with a warrior. Alright, that's all. If you liked this video, subscribe. I pour my heart and soul into my work, and it's, I find it nice to be appreciated. To my current subscribers, thank you so much for your support. That's all, Rogan out.